Hello, it's Marty. So, I realized the weekend sort of snuck up on me because yesterday I had to go to a math competition because that's how cool I am. So I said earlier that I write poems, so I'm going to read some aloud right now. So I write them in a owl journal, and I write them with a purple pen, and I write them in script, or cursive. They're all in beautiful script. That's how cool I am. This one's called Lonely Stranger. I wrote it last summer. A stranger in a new place realizes it has become their home, but soon they realize they have to face they're leaving and they feel alone. Now this one's really one that I like. It's called Shadow Rooms. A shadow of stories told as a group, memories of times they were never alone. A child wanders an empty room, remembering when it used to be a home. And I also wrote a series of four poems, which were observations. So observation one, as an observer, I have found that we ignore those who do not lead, though without them around, we'd all be in dire need. Observation 2. We all try to make it sound we've had it the worse, like we're fighting some sort of curse, so people can be impressed even through this living hell we've made it out so well. Observation 3. People seem to hold physical pain above emotional, Though people have run miles with broken legs, but when someone they love dies, cannot get out of bed. Observation 4. People are amazed by things they've never seen before. When it's new, it's so exciting you could sing. When it's old, it's a bore. So those were the observations, I guess. And those are all sort of observations. And the last one... The penultimate pummel The penultimate poem will be fairy tales. If you dream of fairy tales, just go outside. Close your mouth, close your eyes, and open your mind. Trees will turn to castle walls, sticks and leaves to fairies. So if you dream of fairy tales, let your imagination go and do not tarry. This is my last poem and it's sort of dark. Some of you guys might have heard this before. And it's called Why Are the Dead Forgotten? I wrote it, I think, last year. And as I said, it's sort of dark, so that's a warning. Why are the dead forgotten? Why are young men and women not remembered every day? Who walks through a graveyard and mourns everyone's passing? Why are the dead forgotten? Who has left us on this day years ago? Who will leave us soon and be forgotten? Who remembers a dead man? Spouse, children, brothers, sisters. Not many more. All around the world, people are dying. People are crying. We don't know who. We don't bother to care. Why are the dead forgotten? Who has left us on this day years ago? Who will leave us soon and be forgotten? The old grandmother dies surrounded by family and is forgotten by all but those people she died around. A child struck ill dies, remembered only by her parents. They did not choose to die. They did not choose to be forgotten. So why are they? Why are the dead forgotten? Who has left us on this day years ago? Who will leave us soon and be forgotten? That was dark. I do enjoy writing poetry. Though sometimes it's sad. Sometimes it can be happy. I dropped that. So, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did... Uh, the eight of you, if you did. <laughs> I might do that again if I have no other ideas for a video, or if I just feel in the mood to share some of my creativity. So, thank you everyone for watching this video, and goodbye everyone.